Hey, God bless you. I want to welcome you to the World Deliverance Christian Center's online celebration of worship. Thank you so much for being here and worshiping with us today. Every week when you worship with us, I make you a promise, and that is I will do my very best not to waste your time. And today is no different. I am aware that there are a lot of other things that you could be doing, yet you've taken time to worship with us. So let me get right to it. Today is a very special service that has been planned. Uh, we have a service of prayer. Yes, we're going to spend time praying. And if there ever was a need for prayer right now, Today, in the midst of what's happening with COVID-19, prayer is in order. So some of the members of World Deliverance came together to pray for you, to pray with one another, and to keep all of us lifted in prayer. As the members are praying, then you can join in that prayer as well, not only from where you are, but then you have the opportunity to call in because someone is waiting right now for your prayer. If you're watching and worshiping with us on a Sunday between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, someone is waiting to pray with you right now. If you're watching and worshiping with us on a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday between the hours of 12 p.m. to 1 p.m., Someone is waiting to pray with you right now. And if by chance it's any other time that you're worshiping with us, then you can still call that same number. And I promise you, not only will someone pray for you, someone will reach back out to you to pray with you as well because we want you to know we're praying for you. One thing before we get ready to go into the service, I just want to share with you my first book, Bloom Where God Has Planned With You. It's time to fulfill your God-given purpose. If there's anything that we need during this season, we need God, we need prayer, and we need to know our purpose. And everyone has been given purpose by God. You can see the information on the screen to order your copy even today and be blessed by the information that's here. Now, let's get ready to go into a time of praise and worship and follow in praise and worship an incredible time of prayer. Thank you again. God bless you. Good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday morning to you. We want to welcome you to World Awareness Christian Center celebration of worship. We want us to let you know that you're worshiping with us type in the word check-in into the comments. We're going to have our Bible verse and our prayer now. Ezekiel 37, 5 and 6 reads, This is what the Sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath into you and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Shall we pray? Lord God, we come right now just to say thank you. Lord, we thank you for waking each and every one of us up on this morning, God. Lord, we thank you, God, for allowing us the opportunity, God, to come together and worship you on this day. Lord, I thank you for each and every viewer that's watching on this morning. Lord, I also ask that you would just touch each and every person on this day, God. Lord, we thank you for your word that is to go forth. May it fall on fertile ground, God. May lives be changed and may souls be saved. In Jesus' name we pray.
morning, everyone. We're going to start this prayer service off with praise and thanks to the Most High. Hallelujah. Psalms 104 and 5 says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endure to all generations. Hallelujah. Let's just begin to enter in. Glory, glory to your name, O oh God. Your name is majestic in all the earth, and you are worthy to be praised. I will bless your name forever, O oh God. You are Elohim Chayim, the living God. You are the God who reigns. You are the all-knowing God. You are Emmanuel, God with us. You are Adonai, and there is no one like you. You are excellent in all your ways, O oh God. You are the way maker, miracle worker, a promise keeper. You are the light in the darkness, O oh God. You are everlasting to everlasting, O oh God. You are a good, good father. You are my anchor, O oh God. You are a wonderful counselor. You are my safe place, O oh God. You are the I am that I am, and I just thank you. I thank you for this day, O oh God. For this is the day that you have made. I will rejoice and be glad in it, O oh God. I thank you for your grace and your mercy, for your mercy endures forever. I thank you for your unfailing love. I thank you for moving mountains. I thank you that you war on my behalf, O oh God. I thank you for being a hedge of protection, O oh God. I thank you that you are my provider, Jehovah Jireh. Your word says in Philippians 4.19 that you will supply all our needs. I thank you that you are my healer, Jehovah Rapha. Your word says in Jeremiah 30, 17 that you will restore us to health and heal our wounds. I thank you that you are my peace, Jehovah Shalom. Your word says in Isaiah 26 and 3, you will keep us in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. I thank you for being my banner, Jehovah Nisi. Your word says in Isaiah 59 and 19 that your spirit will lift a standard against the enemy and put the enemy to the flight. Hallelujah. And I just thank you in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 2 Corinthians 1 and 3 through 4 says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort who comforts us in all our troubles. Father God, we just, Lord God, just love you, Lord God. We just praise you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are still, Lord God, on the throne, that you are a good, good father, Lord God, that you are slow to anger and abounding in love, Lord God, that you are a great and mighty king who has done marvelous things, Lord God, things that you planned from long ago. We praise you and we honor you, Lord Father, Lord God, for all your compassion, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are our comfort, Lord God, that you are our peace, oh Lord God, and that even during these times, oh Lord God, that you give us comfort, Lord God. Oh Lord God, after your word that you put us in all our troubles, oh Lord God. And though, Lord God, a, a righteous man may fall many times, oh Lord God, you are faithful, Lord God, to deliver him from all his troubles, oh Lord God. And we thank you for that because you, Lord God, are the one who cares for us, Lord God. You created us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that we are your sheep, oh Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, that you take care of us, Lord God. Oh Lord God, there's nothing, Lord God, that's too hard for you, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, that, that you plan everything, Lord God, that you continue to order our steps, Lord God. We praise you and we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Hail Jesus, we just give you glory. We just praise your holy name. We thank you, Jesus, that you have came, Lord, and you taught us how to live. You taught us how to breathe. You taught us how to teach. You taught us how to walk, oh Jesus. We thank you, oh Jesus, for your guidance. We thank you, oh Jesus, that you are up in heaven right now. It's the seating of our help for ourselves. We thank you, oh Lord, for being the light of the world. John 8 and 12 says, then Jesus again spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will walk in the world. He who will not follow me will walk in darkness, but still will be held in the light of life. And we thank you, O oh God, for being a light. We thank you, O oh God, for being a light of this world. Even in times of trouble right now, Lord Father, we thank you. We thank you, O oh God, that you have granted us Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Jesus, for allowing us, Lord Father, to breathe, allowing us to see, allowing us to be uh, lean on you in this time of need. Thank you, Jesus, for being our rock. Thank you, Jesus, for being the Son of God. Thank you. 
Jesus, for being the Son of Man. Thank you, for Jesus, for being Emmanuel. Thank you, Jesus, for being Lord, Alpha and Omega. Thank you, Jesus, for being the bread of life. Anything that we need, Jesus, we thank you that you are. And we praise and honor you. We glorify your holy name, Jesus. And we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Romans 8.26 In the same way, the Lord helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. Holy Spirit, we know that you are God. We thank you and praise you, for you are holy. Thank you for empowering us to live righteous for you. We thank you for living inside of us, Holy Spirit. Thank you for helping us to understand your holy word as we read it and study it. Give us understanding. Give us wisdom and knowledge and help us to know how and when to apply it. Thank you for working in our lives, Holy Spirit. Thank you for guiding us in all things. Thank you for saving us and renewing our dead spirit. Thank you for opening our eyes into all truth. Help us to see you clearly, Holy Spirit. Help us to recognize when you're working in our lives. Help us to be sensitive to you so we can follow you more closely. Help us to be obedient to you. Help us to produce good fruit in our lives. So we thank you for producing love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Holy Spirit, we realize that we can't live out any of these things without you. So thank you for being with us. Thank you for empowering us. Thank you for loving us. It is and we seal this prayer with an amen. Hallelujah.
Hello WDCC and to each and every one of our viewers. This is a part of the service that we all can participate in. This is something we call investment time. We know that every dollar and every cent that's given unto God is an investment unto his kingdom. At WDCC we have several ways that everyone can give. The first way is you can text your investment to 844 713 4622. Again, the number to text is 844 713 4622. If you'd like to give on our church website, you can log on to worlddeliverancecc.net. Again, our church website address is worlddeliverancecc.net. If you would like to mail in your investment, you can mail it to P.O. Box 735. Maywood, Illinois, 60153. Thank you and God bless. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. The Bible says, First I tell you to pray for all people, asking God for what they need and being thankful to Him. Pray for rulers and for all who have authority so that we can have quiet and peaceful lives of full of worship and respect for God. This is good, and it pleases God our Savior. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, first of all, we come to tell you, thank you, God. But we come right now praying for our nation, God. Lord, we know right now that in our nation, God, we are facing challenging times, God. Every time that we turn on our social media or look at TV or whatever we may do, God, we just see the things that we are facing, God. We see where there's violence everywhere, corruption. God, people living in fear. Or well, people just showing hatred for each other, God. And it seems it's even, it's increasing, God, during this pandemic, God. Well, I ask you, Lord, even in the midst of what we see and what we go through, God, that you open our eyes on today, God, and allow us to see the importance of why we need to pray for not only, Lord, the healing of our nation, God, but for our president, God, for those who are in leadership for our country, Lord, and across this nation, God. Your word tells us to pray, to intercede, and to give thanks Lord, for those who are in positions of power and authority, God. I pray, Lord, that you would give our president, God, our vice president, our senate, our governors, our mayors, the House of Representatives, those, those who are in any position of authority, God. Give them wisdom right now, God, that will go beyond what they understand. God, we thank you, Lord, that regardless of what someone says or what someone thinks or what someone even attempts to do to them, God, that they will do the right thing, God. I pray, Lord, that you will surround our leaders with people who walk according to your word, your will, and your way, God. I pray, Lord, that you will surround uh, our leaders with those who have the mind of Christ, God. I pray, Lord, that you will surround our leaders, God, with those who want things done decently and in order, God. I pray, Lord, that you will surround our leaders with those who want to see change, God. Surround our leaders with those who will not stop fighting and will not stop praying, God, until Christ returns for his church, God. We just thank you, Lord for keeping your hand on this nation, God. We love you, we praise you, we honor you, we adore you, we thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. My prayer is for the city of Chicago. The scripture is gonna be from Psalms 107, verses one through nine. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy and gathered out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a dis desolate way. They found no city to dwell in, hungry and thirsty, their souls fainted in them. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distress. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to the city for a dwelling place. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Shall we pray? And this is for the Chicago city land. 
Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for the many blessings that you have given. You are a great God. You are a wonderful God. And I just thank you for the wisdom you have given and ask that you continue to bless as you see fit. It's only you that can take care of our situation at this time, God. God, I'm going to be praying for the city of Chicago during the pandemic crisis. Father, please forgive and cleanse us from our sins. Have mercy on Chicagoland. I pray that the city be humble and come together as one and seek your face. Lord, I pray against the violence that is rampant all over the city of Chicago. Father, please encourage that guns be put down and your word be picked up. Lord, one, one another, love one another instead of hating and killing one another with our words or with bullets. Father, we pray that this is the one long-term legacy of the pandemic in the city of Chicago in our nation from the animosity and strife where love flows one to another. Father, let us know that you are good and our jobs and schools will return to us. God, you are so great. Father, I pray that we abide by the orders and listen to the leaderships as we stay in our homes and keep the distance and wear the mask covering. Father, please heal those whose health have been affected by the virus. Heal the heart of loved ones who have lost a family, friend, or a member of their family, Father. Heavenly Father, please bless pastors, churches, doctors, and nurses. Bless that president, the governor, the mayor, and other officials who are making decisions that affect the world. I thank you in Jesus' name. I know that you can do it and you will. As I'm thinking of this old song, Chicago, Chicago, bless this city, please. In Jesus' name, I pray and I say thank you. Amen, amen. First Timothy 4 and 12. Do not let anyone treat you as if you are unimportant because you are young. Instead, be an example to the believers with your words, your actions, your love, your faith, and your pure life. Father God, how we thank you, Lord God, on today right now, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for our youth, Father God. Lord God, for they are our future right now, Father God. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for obedience right now, Father God. Lord God, we thank you right now, Father God. The youth, Father God, they are, Lord God, going to be protected right now, Father God. They let no, Lord God, no one, Lord God, tell them different, Father God. Lord God, we thank you for guidance, Lord God. We thank you for loving them right now, Father God. We thank you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Lord God, we love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Job 12 and 12. Wisdom is with the age and understanding is in the length of days. And I'm sitting here praying for our senior citizens. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, O oh God, for your grace and mercy your love and protection, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh God, for your guidance. We thank you, O oh God, that you are and always will be king above kings and love Lord above lords. We thank you, Lord, that you are still ruler of this universe. O oh God, I just come before you praying on behalf of our senior citizens, Lord Father. Pray, Lord Father, God, for obedience for them, Lord Father, that they be obedient, Lord Father, to the stay at home, um, um, call, Lord Father. We ask you, O oh God, that you, Lord Father, would give them the understanding and the wisdom that they already have, Lord Father, to not go outside. Lord Father, that they will be provided with everything they need, Lord Father. And I'm also praying, Lord Father, that you would give them wisdom, Lord Father, against scammers, Lord Father. That, Lord Father, you will protect them, Lord Father, from phone scammers or those that come to their door claiming they're someone they're not, Lord Father. I ask you, Lord Father, that you will build a wall of protection around them. Them, oh God, that Lord Father, if you they need anything, Lord Father, they will call whom they need to call, Lord Father. And I ask you, Lord Father, in Jesus' name, Amen.
fight my battles. First King 857. May the Lord our God be with us as he was with our ancestors. May he never leave us nor forsake us. Deuteronomy 6, 6 and 7. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Oh Lord our God, we love you. We thank you. We praise you. We thank you for being so awesome. God, we thank you for families. We know that you institute the family and we thank you for our family. We thank you for receiving us into your family. Thank you for saving us. We thank you for being one. We thank you for unity within our biological families as well as our church family. Lord, we thank you right now for breaking generational curses within our family. We invite you into our homes, reign in our homes, God. I pray that we honor you in our homes with our actions and our words. I pray that our families seek to please you in all that we do. May we be quick to love and forgive, extend grace to each family member. We thank you for every father, mother, and child within every family, God. May the parents raise the children to reverence you. May every parent live righteous before their children. Please give every parent wisdom and knowledge as they raise their children, God. I thank you for every child being obedient within the family. May the children seek to please you and respect those that have authority over them. May every child honor their father and mother that their days may be long upon this earth, God. We thank you for the children's academic success, Lord. I thank you for every family member fulfilling their God-given purpose. I thank you for providing for every family, God. I thank you for protecting, guiding, and comforting every family. Last, God, I thank you that no weapon formed against any family will prosper. In every tongue that rises against our families, we condemn it in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we praise you, God. Amen. John 16, says, I have said these things to you, that in me you will have peace. In the world you might have tribulations, but take heed, I have overcome the world. Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for allowing us to be a part of this miraculous day. Thank you for your finger of love that has touched us and your breath of life that breathed into us. Lord, with a humble heart and bowed heads, we ask special blessings on our essential workers. For Isaiah 41 and 10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Lord, keep and hold and protect the essential workers, Lord. Keep the doctors, the nurses, the cleaning crew, grocery store workers, lunchroom workers, big box store workers, EMTs, firefighters, police officers, corrections officers, people who work in nursing homes, um, people who are um, bus drivers and train operators, factory workers, postal workers, the government officials, Lord, anyone that has to be in the public or around the public, Lord, continue to be the beacon of light, continue to be the beacon of strength and health and comfort. Lord, thank you for your unwavering love. Thank you for your blood. In Jesus' matchless name I pray. Amen. Psalm 41 and 3 says the Lord sustains them on their sick bed and restores them from the bed of sickness. Father God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, we thank you, O oh God, that you're still Jehovah Rapha, O oh God. We thank you that you are the great physician. You are the balm Gilead, O oh God. We thank you, O oh Lord God, that you sustain those, Lord God, who are sick, O oh Lord God, and that you restore them to full health, O oh Lord God. Just as it says in your word, Lord God, we stand upon it and we believe it right now in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for giving them a hope, O oh Lord God, because you said, Lord God, that you don't come to harm us, Lord God, but the, to give us a hope and a future, Lord God, and to bring us through to an expected end, O oh Lord God. We thank you, O oh Lord God, that you will put great testimonies, Lord God, in the mouths, O oh Lord God, as you continue to do the deep work of your spirit, Lord God, healing every uh, tissue, every cell in your body, O oh Lord God. 
Oh, Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, even for their families, oh, Lord God. I ask that you strengthen them who are around them, Lord God. Strengthen their faith, oh, Lord God. Help their families, Lord God, not to give up hope, oh, Lord God, but to continue to stand on your word, Lord God, and to know that you, oh, God, care for them, Lord God, and that you are real, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for compassionate and competent health care workers, Lord God, stationed around them, Lord God, whether it be technicians or doctors or nurses, oh, Lord God, that you would bless their hands, oh, Lord God, any medications that are given, Lord God, any uh, medical procedures, Lord God, that are done, oh, Lord God, that, Lord God, they would do what they are intended to do, Lord God, and do their bodies no harm. I thank you and I love you, Lord God. I thank you for the great testimonies, Lord God. I thank you for your blood that still works, that still cleanses, that still heals, Lord God. I thank you for the anointing of your Holy Spirit that breaks every yoke, Lord God. Even the yoke of infirmity, Lord God, of diseases, Lord God, of mystery, illnesses, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that nothing is too hard for you, Lord God. And I praise you and I thank you and I honor you. And it's the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Matthew 16 and 18. And I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon the rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. O Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Father God, we thank you again, for this is the day that you have made, and we'll continue to rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, we thank you, Father God, for this, an another opportunity just to come before your throne of grace. And Father God, during this time right now, we thank you, Father God, that even during this time of pandemic, time of confusion, time of chaos, Father God, that nothing will stop your church from growing. Father God, it has been shown in your word that even in a time of confusion, in the time of um, confrontation, Father God, that your church grew in number. So we thank you, Father God, that when we see this, Father God, we know that your kingdom will continue to advance in numbers that people will come and have the right relationship with you, Jesus Christ, Father God, because you are the answer. So we thank you, Father God, that your church is already equipped. Thank you, Father God, for pastors right now, that although that they are in unforeseen territory, Father God, in unforeseen um, um, events, Father God, that when, Father God, we ask you that you will open their eyes and that they will look and see victory, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you will encourage them, your pastors right now, to let them know that where they foot shall try, you have already given it to them. So thank you, God, for the victory that even in these times, Father God, that we win. Your church, your church grows in numbers, Father God, that people know you and who you are. Father God, continue to show yourself strong and mighty even in this. And Father God, that your body will be edified and glorified and we your people will always give your name glory we love you god we thank you father god for allowing us to serve in the capacity that you allow us to serve for your pastors father god strengthen them encourage them be with them and thank you father god that they would do as you say do not of them but all of you and we'll love you we thank you in jesus name we pray amen acts chapter 20 verse number 32 and now brethren I commend you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified gracious God how we do bless you how we do love you how we do glorify you how we do celebrate you how we do magnify you thank you dear God for this time praying thank you dear god for this time dear god of touching and agreeing and we realize uh, dear god that while we may be sheltered in place while we may be in our respective uh, areas during this time of prayer and then even during this time of the celebration of worship we thank you that what connects us who connects us is your holy spirit we thank you then dear god that while we are stationary you are omnipresent. We bless you for that right now. We thank you, dear God, that while we are finite, you are infinite. And so, dear God, we can be where we are, talking with you, and yet, dear God, still touching and agreeing in the spirit at the same time. We thank you for that right now. We thank you, dear God, for every prayer that's been prayed on today. We thank you, dear God, for every life that's been touched on today. Thank you, dear God, for every person who's been encouraged on today. 
thank you, dear God, for every individual, dear God, who's been inspired and enlightened on today. We thank you for those who would have made a decision to accept you on this day. We love you for it right now. We bless you for it right now. And even, dear God, as Paul said to those who were with him prior to him leaving, uh, dear God, he knew he would never see them again. And dear God, he commended them to you well. Dear God, why we don't know what tomorrow holds, we thank you that you indeed hold all of our tomorrows. And so we commend every person who's worshiping with us today to you. We commend them to your word. And even as God, you did through the Apostle Paul, we commend those who know you to one another. We thank you, dear God, that when they have you, they have your word. And because they have your word in you, they can hold on to one another. Dear God, then we are never alone. We're never alone because of you. And you the faithful people around us. If there's anyone, dear God, who even on the sound of a voice this morning, who may have been fearful prior to now, we think that they're encouraged, enlightened, and inspired, and then, dear God, you will send one of your own to be around them as well. We bless you for it. We love you for it. We celebrate you and magnify you for it right now. In the holy master's name of Jesus the Christ, we do pray and thank you for giving us the privilege to be disciples who can go make disciples who can make disciples who all over can follow you. In Jesus' name we pray and thank you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Come on, y'all. Let's say hallelujah where you are. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 After that awesome time of prayer, you all, someone may make a decision for the Lord even right now. You may have heard the prayers and realized that what you really need in your life is to become reconnected to the church. Perhaps you want to establish or reestablish or even know more about a relationship with Jesus Christ. Well, you can just simply text the word member to the number on the screen. And what that would do is trigger on our end communication so that we can reach back out to you to help walk with you and take the steps necessary for the salvation or membership. And the beautiful thing about it is no matter where you are, if you have the opportunity to be what we call an online member, you can have an online connection. You say, Pastor, I don't live where your church is at. Well, you know what? Right now, our church is in your living room. Our church is in your car to drive in. Our, our church is at your, for those who have worked at your place of business. Our, our church is all over. And our church, because the people are really the church, our church is where you are right now. We're in the business of making disciples. And so because of that, imitators of Christ, we want to walk with you so that you can imitate them. So if that's you, simply text the word member to the number on the screen and we can start the process of discipleship so that you can not only become stronger in your walk with the Lord, but ultimately, you can help someone else know that they can have the opportunity to become stronger in the world. Wow, what an incredible time we had today. I was blessed, I was encouraged, I was enlightened, and I hope that you were also. I want to say thank you to the members of World Deliverance Christian Center for praying. I want to say thank you to uh, the members of our praise team for ministering. And the songs were chosen with the prayers in mind. And I also want to say thank you to my, my friend, my colleague, brother, Pastor Gregory Wilson. All the songs that you heard during the time of prayer were arranged and performed by him. 
They can be found on his CD, Midnight Worship. You can find it on online retailers. And if it blessed you now, it'll bless you if you have your own copy of it. So thank you again, Pastor Wilson. One more thing before I sign off, and I'd be remiss if I did not remind you all about the first book, Bloom Where God Has Planted You. It's time to fulfill your God-given purpose. Information is on the screen. We need God. We need prayer. We need to know our purpose from God. God bless you.